Welcome to this episode of Ask the Expert. Today we will talk about the Truark Weld 1000 and one of the questions that we get asked very often. And if you're in sheet metal production, you might be wondering the same thing. What batch size and what volume do you need to justify the effort for an automated welding program? In other words, how much effort is it to program a part and set up a series production? My name is Robin and I've been working for Trump since six years. I'm project manager for the welding machines and today I will present to you, together with my colleague Martin here, how much effort it is to program one part, set up the dual station mode, and get into series production. Let's start by setting the right welding job. Using a simple chart from Trumpf, you can easily find the right job depending on the sheet thickness and the welding geometry. In this case, it's job number 74, and a welding speed of 11 millimeters per second. Now, Martin can start programming, and the good thing about this machine is that he does not need to use this touchpad at all and type in any commands. He is simply using the robot and moving it from point A to B. Therefore, he's using the free drive, either using the foot switch or the big yellow button to activate the free drive. Then he can simply move the robot to the position he wants save this position with the white button to create automatically a linear movement from point A to B and he can start a weld seam using the yellow arc button. Once the arc is activated it will shine yellow and once he pushes it again a second time it is the end of the seam. And that's all you need to do to program one single part. And now we're making the next step coming from a single piece production to a dual station mode. In order to do that, I will use this external central unit. And I can use it to move the central separation up and down, either if I want to weld a big part of two meters or two single dual stations. I can also move both walls up and down, both, both doors. And now all I have to do is push start. Now, while the robot is welding on the other side, it's getting really interesting how to transition afterwards to the second side. And all I have to do is prepare the sheet, load the single piece in a fixture, and then push this one button, close the door, and it's all I need to do. I don't have to type any command into this touchpad. The robot, robot automatically knows that after this welding process, it has to move to the other side, copy the program, and weld it again. Now that the right side is finished, I can already continue to unload the finished part and bring the next piece in. That's it. Coming back to the initial question regarding the batch size. As we have seen, it is quite easy to set up a welding program in a few minutes. It takes just one click to transfer it into a dual station mode. And after that, you benefit from all the time savings because you don't have to load and unload the part every time because it's parallel to the main process. Furthermore, you benefit from a repeatable quality that every time you need this part again, you simply load the part, you simply load the program and the fixture and you have repeatable quality. In summary, it is a very important topic as the market demands more flexibility while the batch sizes tend to decrease. This machine will enable you to do exactly that. Be more flexible and be more productive. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Looking forward to hear feedback or questions. And with that being said, take care and have a good day.